Cowabunga! All right, I'm in the mood for some retro TMNT gaming here since it's my birthday today. And I feel like playing one of my all-time favorite Ninja Turtle games, TMNT 4, Turtles in Time, for the Super Nintendo. I believe I uploaded gameplay version before on this channel, but for the arcade version, not the Super Nintendo version, but um, I believe Super Nintendo version is the one I have fond memories of the most. Because I never got to play the arcade version until I got this collection, actually. Also, my copy of Stellar Blade should be finally arriving today, so I'll have an unboxing for that later on. Um, games, let's see here. So we have the original arcade game. We have, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or for the arcade, Turtles in Time, that's the arcade one. Team and T4, Super Nintendo version, I believe. Tournament Fighters. I enjoy the Super Nintendo version of Tournament uh, Tournament Fighters. I would like for some like fighting game company, like I don't know, Capcom, to make a Ninja Turtle fighting game similar to Tournament Fighters. Uh, Hyperstone Heist, which I honestly I always get this confused with the third one, Manhattan Project. Tournament Fighters for Sega Genesis. Actually, the Sega one is not too bad looking, too. But I think the best version is the Super Nintendo version. Actually, let me... Where is that? Uh, yeah, the Super Nintendo version is the one is the, the best one, obviously. Tournament Fighters is not that bad. For uh, the Sega one, anyways. Uh, oh, God. This one. <laughs> Ugh. The Dark Souls before Dark Souls. Many painstaking painstakingly uh areas or yeah all right so do, 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 arcade game well that's a classic NES one for the second one manhattan project which is just the third sequel tournament fighters for classic nes which is also mind-numbingly painful to play through uh we have some of the game boy ones here yeah, all Game Boy ones. Uh, Alright, so let's jump into TMNT 4, Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot to do something. Wait, wait, ah, oh, shit, how do I... Uh, da, 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 quit. Enhancements. Start, uh, no, 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 button dash. Always play your, wait, wait. Allows players to dash using a single button press. Yes. Extra lives on... Uh, okay, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, the Konami chime. Back when Konami used to mean something. <laughs> used to mean you're getting a fun, good quality game from them, but not so much anymore these days. All right, so actually, options. Okay, level normal, continue for hard, easy. No, normal, but uh, wait a minute. Rest? Rest, what's this? I assume that's the lives, right? The amount of lives I can have. Uh, player dash, auto, back attack on. Uh, all this looks good. Color mode, what's this? Comic? Animation? Uh, let's go with animation. Damn, so wait. But what's with these continues, though? Three continues on easy, four continues on normal, five continues on hard? I thought there was a way to have unlimited continues, or am I wrong about that? Well, we're going to go with normal. 
Hopefully that means 10 lives for each continue that I put it on. Okay, I think we're good here. Uh, One player, please. Obviously this will be a lot easier if I had a second player beside me, but uh, going solo. All right. Pick my favorite Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. You know what's funny? When I was a kid, Michelangelo was my favorite for the longest time. As I got older, I tend to like Leo more. But I like all of the turtles equally, pretty much. And I think my copy of Stellar Blade just arrived, so... I'll have to go outside and pick that up after I finish this, which should only take me about, eh, I don't know, 50 minutes to an hour? Maybe less than that? It's not that long of a game. So it might take me under 50 minutes. It depends how much trouble I have. <laughs> Alright, so I have, what, 9? About 9 or 10 lives total, so yeah, I think I put it on the right setting for that. Alright. And it stated I have, like, 4 continues, right? So, alright. Should have more than enough lives to get me through this entire game. With uh, each continue, that is. Ow! Let's see, does the one button dash work? Uh oh. I thought I put it on one button dash. Uh, uh oh. Let's see, what if I. No? Huh. Which button is to dash then? Hold on, I gotta look at the settings. Uh, controls. Uh, special rewind game options. Eh? I did put it on one button dash, right? Let's see, let's see here. Uh, no. Oh, wait. I think I found it. It's R2. Okay. Figured it out. I have to hold down R2. Run! Ow. I know I could deflect the ninja stars, but... Ah. Sometimes it's difficult to focus on... What's in front of me, because... They like to surround you and get behind you as well. So I have to be careful and jump out of the way oh, quite a bit. Oh, that's right. I think I could throw them into the TV screen. But it's a bit difficult to do... Ah! I know in the original arcade game, if you do it, like it cracks the screen, which is awesome. Which they added that nice little touch to the um, Shredder's Revenge, I believe. And some other... Uh... Ah! Some other titles. Let's see, damn it! I'm trying to grab him. Trying to grab him. No, it's, uh, this. No, can't do it. Damn it! Don't worry. Eventually, I ah, get off me. Eventually, I will, I will be able to do it. All right, pizza. I don't need it yet. I'll save the pizza for uh, the owl. Okay. Okay, guys, stop surrounding me. Ow. Okay, now I need the pizza. I was going to try to save the pizza, but I need it now. There we go. Pizza time! Wait, was, uh, that takes health, right? Oh, frig. Okay, yeah. Alright, triangle button, use special. It uses up health as well. Ah. Also, the combination of square and X to do special takes up health, I think. Ow, ow, ow! Oh. Alright, so Baxter Stockman has to be one of the most annoying boss fights in all of the retro TMNT games, because he likes to stay up in the air and goes from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen, like so. And you just have to sometimes wait till he comes down, or uh, you can do jump attacks on him, but he doesn't stay still for long, which makes it extra annoying. Ah, oh, of course. be so much easier if I had a player too. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Land! Land, you stupid fly! 
Oh, oh god damn it, Bax Baxter Stockman. Okay. Uh, 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 special attack, special attack. Oh, no. I was going to use it, but he uh, flew up in the air before I could press it. No matter, got him with some jumping attacks. It's all good. Yeah, Cowabunga! Big Apple, 3 a.m., cleared. Alleycat Blues. Ooh, metalhead time. So this has always been one of my favorite uh, retro team and T game next to, I'd say, the original arcade game. That one has some memorable moments where you're playing in the, um, was it, the apartment building, and then it gets set on fire, and you have to fight. Was it Rocksteady or Bebop? It was, uh, I think it was Rocksteady you have to fight in that building, right? Or was it both? I can't remember. Ah! Damn you. And I love what they did with uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge, which is a brand new title, but it's done up like a retro-style TMNT game. And it's pretty much a love letter to the fans of the retro games, and it's it's fun. A lot of fun. I, I also bought the DLC for it, where you get to play as Karai and Usagi Yojimbo, which... <laughs> Usagi Yojimbo in Shredder's Revenge is OP. He has, he has some really good... Um, combat mechanics in that game. And I love what they did with the Shredder boss fight, where, um... <laughs> he has a theme song sung by Ghostface Killer... Or, Ghost, sorry, Ghostface Killa from uh, Wu-Tang Clan. And, um... It's awesome. Plus you get to fight his Super Shredder version at the end. And it has like two different um, Krang boss fights. Like you fight Krang in his regular android body, and then he makes an android body out of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> but yeah, Shredder's Revenge is great. I have it digitally on PS5, but I would very much like to buy it on physical for probably all consoles. That's what I did for this game, actually. I bought Cowbunga, or yeah, Cowbunga Collection for PS5. And then um, when the Xbox and Nintendo Switch versions went on sale for like 20 to 17 bucks, I bought them again for those consoles. Uh, uh, ah! I think this year, for Black Friday, if I catch, uh. If I catch, um. Shredder's Revenge physical copies on sale, I might buy them. Buy them up. Add to my pile of um, Ninja Turtle video games that I have in my collection. Because recently I bought Team NT Arcade uh, Wrath of the Mutants, I think it's called, which is very, very mediocre arcade game. <laughs> I can see what they're trying to do with it, but they at least could have added some enhancements, some patches to make it feel a bit more fun, I guess. It could use the dash button. Some type of dodge or dash button, that's for sure. It does not have that in Wrath of the Mutants. And, uh... Ah! Can't wait for the other games to come out so I could try them out. Like, um, Splinter's Fate is a roguelike game, like, uh, Hades. So that's interesting. Hades is like Ninja Turtle game. <laughs> and um, they're also making one based off of The Last Ronin. Hopefully that turns out to be good, because... The announcement is one thing, but I want to see how the game is actually going to function. <laughs> and there's going to be another one. Ah, that's right. One more game is coming out based off of... Uh, Mutant Mayhem, the animated movie that recently came out. Which looks like it's just going to be a 3D brawler. Kind of like the 3D era of Team NT games that came out for like, um... Uh, I want to say GameCube. 
because a, a lot of them came out for GameCube based off the 2003 Turtles, but I actually missed that era of Ninja Turtle games. Like, I was around when those games came out, but I never bought them. Because I bought the GameCube for one reason, and one reason and all, uh, alone, and that was for the Resident Evil remake. And then Resident Evil 4 came out. Or, no, it was Resident Evil... Which, I'm trying to remember which one came out first. I think Resident Evil 4 came out first, and then the remake for the first game. Well, anyways, that was like the sole reason I bought a GameCube, was to buy RE4 and RE Remake. Because they were exclusives to the Nintendo GameCube at the time, and I was like, damn it. The only way I get to play these Resident Evil games is to buy a GameCube, damn it. But... You know, I actually have many fond memories of playing other games on the GameCube, like, uh... Oh, not Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. I actually... I used to have that for the original Xbox. I think Rumble Rose. Rumble Rose is the one I'm thinking of. Basically, a A, uh... All-women's wrestling game where you play as scantily clad women. <laughs> a Japanese title, pretty much. Or Japanese developers, I think. First the sewers, then the world! Oh crap! Rat King! Um, trying to think of another fond memory I have of the GameCube. I think... Oh... Uh, yeah, Zelda Twilight Princess. That came out for the GameCube first, right? Or no, it came out, it was a multi-plat. It came out for GameCube and the Wii at the time. I think, yeah, when the Wii came out, Twilight Princess was supposed to be a big deal, but it was also available for owners of the GameCube. Ah! Damn you, Rat King! Use a special attack, maybe? Oh no, I don't have any... Ah! Ah! Damn you. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Jesus! He only has, like, one thing of health left, and he's just lasting a long time. Kawabunga! The Techno-Drone. Techno-Drone! Let's kick shout! Toka! That's right, Toka and Raza are in this game. But I think their boss battle is better in the arcade version. I really need to go outside to pick up my copy of uh, Stellar Blade, but... Right now I'm reliving the glory days of Turtles in Time. Back when games just came out with no patches, no nothing, because they couldn't really do that back in the day. And you just enjoy them for what they are. Ugh. Aha! Get off me! I also feel like replaying M Mutants in Manhattan, but only the boss fights. But I think I already uploaded a video... Or did I upload a full playthrough? I think I did a full playthrough of that on my channel, but I did not do a video of all of the boss fights together. Mostly because it was annoying to get the, um, the Super Shredder boss fight. Because it was like a secret thing that you had to try to do in the level or something. I don't, I don't re exactly remember what it was, but... Usually you end up fighting Shredder in his normal form at the end. And you, you had to do something. It was like RNG, though. Like, when you get, to, when you get up to him and fight him, sometimes he'll turn into Super Shredder and sometimes he won't. It was very weird. Okay, this guy keeps blocking, so what am I supposed to do here? Just dive kick? Ah, no! Okay. That was my fault. I pushed the touchpad. I got worried. I thought it froze. The pizza! I missed the pizza! Hold on. Dive kick. Okay. Special attack. I got him. Oh. 
I should have got the pizza. I was too, <laughs> I was too fixated on the foot soldier. Ah. Oh. Shell shock. Ugh. But yeah, I hope they make a collection out of the uh, the three the 3D era of the Ninja Turtle games, since I mostly glue uh, blah I mostly grew up on the um on the 2D era of TMT games, and I missed the uh, 2003 Turtles. Master, say have fun, fun, babies. There are babies. Ah, damn it. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Okay. Just focus on one. Ow. It's all good. It's all good. Ow. Okay. What? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, he's done. Razar's done. Time for Toka. You know what's funny? So I knew these guys existed on the 80s show, 80s cartoon, but I don't think I've seen that episode. So I've always known them from TMNT 2, Secret of the Ooze, which... Um, yeah, I actually have all of those. I have all of the 80s cartoon collection on DVD, standard DVD. I don't have them on Blu-ray or any or 4K or anything. Uh, the movies, I actually bought a TMNT DVD collection recently that has all three movies on it, including the 2007 movie, which is titled TMNT. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I had to look at my collection again. I also have another one called Turtles Forever, which is a special... Uh, wait, I don't know what you'd call it. Special movie based off the 2003 Turtles that, um... It deal with some, like, multiverse stuff where they meet up with, like, the classic Turtles and they meet up with the, um... The classic Mirage comic book Turtles at one point. It's an awesome, awesome TMNT movie. But yeah, I have that on just standard DVD. <laughs> ah! Ah! I also need to catch up on watching the rest of the um, 2003 series, because I actually never watched all of it. That was during a time when I, I was into... I forgot what I was into. I think I was into other animated shows at the time. And I was like... Just slowly... Just getting away from Ninja Turtles at that point, but... I got back into Ninja Turtles when the 2012 series came out, which I thought was not bad. And I was probably one of the most skeptical people out there when the 2012 series came out. Because I was like, oh man, I'm not sure about this animated style. It looks too childish for my taste. But one day I sat down, watched the marathon or whatever, and I was like, all right. There's a lot of stuff in here for, uh, for fans of all ages. End up collecting all the action figures. Well, not all of them, but... A pretty good amount of them, of all the characters, or most of the characters. I really dug how they got dark with the storytelling later on, too, in the seasons, with the uh, Super Shredder saga and all that. Also, I was, um, I was actually surprised they finally brought Bebop and Rocksteady on the show. Because at first, it was mostly um, Fish Face and Dog Pound, and they were pretty much the Bebop and Rocksteady of the 2012 series. And then, with the newer episodes, um, they finally decided to bring in Bebop and Rocksteady. Even though they look slightly different for that animated series, but they... Um, hold on, I'm having a tough time concentrating on this boss battle. I know what I need to do. I just... There we go. Yeah, you have to throw them into the screen. Okay. Ah, damn it. No, get away from me. Get away from me. Ah. No, get up. Ah, damn it. 
trying to grab these fools. It's, it's a bit difficult. Ugh. Damn it. Using up all my lives. <laughs> ah! No! They, they can just grab me instantaneously. I'm trying to... No. No. Or do I need to do... Oh, wait. Do I need to... Okay. Huh? And then... Okay, I figured it out. Thought I had to do it a different way, but... Ah. Okay. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. No. No. Okay. I'm just messing this all up. Okay. Uh, huh. There we go. Shit. Can't see because Shredder's big, stupid helmet is in the way. Ah. There we go. Shit. Shit. There we go. All right. Ah! Well, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. <sighs> On my last life. Wonderful. He's done for! But he has one more trick up his sleeve. He's gonna send me through time! From which I will never return! Turtles in time! Alright, was this a Rocksteady and Bebop one? No, it's Slash! That's right, Slash is uh, the first one here. I know at some point is Leatherhead, right? And then Rocksteady and Bebop is on like a pirate ship or something like that. Slash is one of my favorite TMNT villains or villain designs. I'm definitely a huge uh, fan of Slash. I've gotten multiple, <laughs> multiple action figures of that character. I have the one based off this game, Team NT4 Turtles in Time. I have Slash based off the Mirage comics. I have an action figure of Slash from uh, Super 7 that's based off the OG Playmates toys. And, yeah, of course, I have the 2012 Slash. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any other action figures based off of Slash. Oof. I think that's it. That's all the ones I have in my collection. I need an extra life! Ah, ah I got one. I just had to complain a little. Aha! And I still have my four continues, I think, so I'm, I should be good for now. <laughs> Pretty sure Slash is going to wreck me. General Trags! Ah! Oh, one punch. One punch Trag. Ah! I think another one of my favorite villain designs is, um, uh, I'm trying to think, other than Slash. I do like the Triceratons design for, like, General Zog, or whatever his name is. Um, multiple designs for Baxter Stockman throughout the years have been pretty cool. Ah. Ah, damn it. I think in Shredder's Revenge, those uh, special attacks from those pizza boxes, they last a while. <laughs> damn it, how are you still alive? Uh oh. Ugh. 
Ugh. I know they're forcing me to use my special attacks on these guys, but they take up some of my energy. Some of my health. Oh. Uh oh. Using one continue up so far, I better be careful. Let's use Mikey. At least this is a good opportunity to switch up the turtles. Prehistoric Turtle Saurus. How long have I been recording for? Ooh, 30 minutes. Alright, I did say this is going to take maybe an hour, 50 minutes to an hour. I was hoping it would take a little bit less than that, but I forgot there's a lot more uh, stages to this game, so... It might even go over an hour. We'll see. Plus, I also did mention it depends on my skill level. <laughs> and, of course, it depends on the amount of foot soldiers they keep throwing at me. Something I can't really rush. There we go. Damn it. Hey, when they, like, grab you instantaneously. There we go. Run! Ow! How fair was that? Stupid drag, come here. Oh! I'm trying to think of the name of that one villain that had a very uh, interesting uh, design to him. Uh, let's see, I did like Mutagen Man. I did like, um... Oh, what was the name of the other one? Oh, forgetting his name. But, um, Mutagen Man is pretty cool. Scumbug looks pretty cool. <clears throat> and, uh... Ah, oh, forgetting the name of that one guy. He was like a garbage truck driver. He got turned into like a green... Mutagen... Or mutant type of dude. Oh, man. Forgetting the name. It's something and something, because he came with, like, a little sidekick. I'll have to look it up when I have a brief moment of, uh... Ah! Dinosaurs! Pizza. <clears throat> It was, uh... Oh, man. Something and Joe Eyeball? I'm gonna have to look that up. But, uh, I'll wait till I defeat Slash here. Muckman. I think his name is Muckman. It just came to me. It's Muckman and Joe Eyeball. Slash! Your history, slime balls! Oh god. Ugh. Oh. Come on, Mikey, you can do it. No! No! I'm, I'm, I'm button mashing the hell out of this button. <laughs> Ah, okay. Back up, back up. No! It's alright. You know, he has, like, two slots of health left. Oh, God. Jesus, I can't even... 
It's like they're letting the game attack before I can attack. It doesn't matter how fast I'm pushing the attack button. <laughs> oh god, what the... Fine. Just resort to jump kicks. No, no, jump, jump. I can't even jump out of the way. I can't even jump. They're allowing him to hit my, uh, my hitbox. Oh, I didn't even notice the sculpture of Shredder's, uh, helmet in the back, though. In the, out of the, uh, mountain. Alright, now it's Bebop and Rocksteady, right? Or was it, uh, Leatherhead? Whoa! Yeah, it's Bebop and Rocksteady. Gullen Crossbone. It's just showing Bebop, but I'm pretty sure it's both of them. At least in the arcade version, you fight both. Ow. Ow. Ow, I am... Once you get stun lock into oblivion, that's it. <laughs> you just might as well just put down the controller and let them beat you. Yeah. If I remember correctly, those little spots, they, um,. Yep. They whack you in the face with the piece of the ship. But only when I step on them. Of course, it doesn't count if the enemy step on them. Oh shit! Oh, how is that fair? Oh, really? Really, video game? Unbelievable. Really? Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Wait till enemies appear before I touch that pizza box. There we go. Ah! Of course, it doesn't last that long. Come here. Ah. Ugh, what? Oh, ah. Uh. Ah. Jump, jump. There we go. What? Really? Really? Oh my god. This is getting annoying real fast. <laughs> All right. What? More general trags. Just beat them off screen. All right. Yeah, I knew it was both of them. You're walking the plank, shell brain. Oh god. Much like the Tolkien and Razar fight, it's good to maybe like focus on one. Unless you have a player two. Which I do not have. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Rocksteady's almost done. Ah. Oh, getting rocked here by Rocksteady. Hey, what? I can't. What? What? Okay. <laughs> Skull and crossbones. Cleared. 
Cowabunga. Alright, now it's the Leatherhead stage, right? Which is like Wild West. We were playing on a train, I think. I, uh, yeah, yeah, this is it. Bury my shell at wounded knee. I forgot how to fight this guy. If I remember correctly, he likes to grab you a lot. Or he does some attacks where you just you can't really hit him that well. I forgot. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't hit that barrel? Aw. Forgot I have the uh, run button or dash button. I could just dash into a uh, charge or shoulder tackle or whatever. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Cowabunga! Uh-oh. Nope. Nope, nope, what am I doing? Oh, I should've jumped. I was trying to jump, but... I knew I couldn't get the animation off in time. Ugh. What? Screw it. Wait, I should... No, I don't need it yet, but... Actually, I'm going to use up some special attacks here, and then get the pizza. There we go. Uh-oh, jump! I was able to jump in time. I was stuck in a uh, animation, attack animation. Ooh. Wait a minute, can I save that for Leatherhead? Leatherhead might be a little bit further, though. I'm not sure. Shit, there's more? Yeah, I completely forgot how to fight Leatherhead, because I think he does this one attack where you can't really do much to him. You have to, like, wait. Ah. I'll hit it anyways. Alright, I need... Oh, God. I need a uh, pizza... Oh, there it is. Pizza! Okay, here he is. Oh, goody! Fresh turtles for lunch! Oh, God. Oh god. Okay, so yeah, he likes to jab. I I can't. Okay. Well, what if I just do jump, dive kicks on him. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What if I just do the shoulder tackle into fury of combo attacks? Okay, then jump. Okay. This works out well for me. Shoulder tackle to fury of attacks, and then jump. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Also, gotta watch out for his throwing knives. Alright. What? Jump! There we go. Watch out for the throwing knife. Somehow it still hit me because of the stupid hitbox. What? Whatever. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. Okay. There we go. Okay. You know, of all the times I fought Leatherhead on this stage, I never thought to use the shoulder tackle into regular attacks. <laughs> I never thought to do that before. Until today.
All right, Krang, right? He was a boss. Neon yeah. Knight Riders. Neon Knight Riders, AD 2020. And then after Krang, it's back to the Technodrone, I think, where we fight Shredder and it's Super Shredder. Ow. Oh, what am I doing? What? What? Okay. Okay. Ow, ow. And I have, I think, two more continues left, so I should be good. If I end up getting to the next continue screen, it gives me a good opportunity to switch up the turtles here. From Mikey to maybe Raph. Play as Raph next. Ow. What were these type of stages called when they do stuff like this in, like, 2D games? Because they did this for, like, this, um... Ah, uh, this Power Rangers racing game that came out for Super Nintendo. It's the Power Rangers Zeo racing game, actually, I think. Which I actually used to have back in the day. Also, didn't they do this for Mario Kart? Rang. Wait, already? This stage is super short. Face the wrath of Super Krang! Oh god. Uh, wait, can I do a... Nope, can't. Ah, thought I could do a dash into a tackle while I'm on the hoverboard, but I guess I can't. Look at this, look at this, look at this! I can't even hit him! Unbelievable. Ow. There we go. Ah, damn it. Okay, he does three missiles at a time. Okay, he does whatever that is. Damn it. Uh, uh. I'm trying to hit him. Trying to hit him. How dare you, sir. Ugh. Oh my god, really? Can it hit him? Ugh. Alright, special attack. Or not. Where is he? There we go. Special attack. Wait, he's still alive. Special attack. There we go. Oh. You're going to pay! So wait, you get to fight him again in... Super Nintendo version? Or... Because I know you get to fight him in like a little hover spaceship thing in the arcade version. I don't remember if you have to fight him again in the Super Nintendo version, though. Oh yeah, you do! You do, okay. Hmm, Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. Ah! Oh my god, those things, they are so annoying. No! If I remember correctly, this little spaceship that Krang's in, it takes a while to get his health down. At least in the arcade version, last time I played that one. For the Super Nintendo version, I don't remember how, uh how much easier that fight is for this version. Since they have, like, the life bars, you can tell how close they are to defeat. Ah, oh, jeez. Ow! 
Ow. Again, it'd be so much easier if I had a second player. <laughs> Pizza. Oh shit, I need it. I need the pizza. Okay. Oh no, this is gonna be annoying. Uh, one of those things where the environmental hazards can affect you, but not the enemy? Okay. Ow, come on, man. What? Nah. I need some pizza. I need some pizza now. Uh, it's not looking good for Mikey here. Looks like we're going to be playing as Raphael pretty soon. List it. Wow. Wow, video game. Uh, Got to start from the beginning. All right. Raph. You're up. Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. Well, damn, it's 51 minutes already? Holy shit. I know this game is not that long, but... God damn. Oh, Jesus. Ow, ow. Ugh, the hitboxes. These retro games are so weird. Okay. Ah. Uh. I must avenge Mikey! With these... damn... weapons! Ugh. Must... Ah, damn it. No, 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 no! Ugh. Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. No! You! Come on! I was in the zone, man. Ah! Damn endless foot soldiers that just respawn. Ah! Come on! Come on! I swear, man. Friggin' hitboxes. Ah! Giving me a headache. Pizza. Ah! Ow! Ugh! Alright. Ah! Haha! I was ready for it this time! Oh, damn it. No! No, 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 no! Ah! Pizza? No pizza? Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there goes another one of my, uh, 
My ah! Come on, dude. More? Ugh. I can't even... Wow. Wow, I can't even... Okay. You're just stun-locking the hell out of me. I can't even do anything. Ugh. Oh my god, there's more. Yeah, that's gonna hurt me, but not them. Ah, damn it. Uh, no. No, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No! <sighs> Wanted to do a tackle. Hold on. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, God. Can I, uh, get out of here, please? Oh, God. Well... Pizza, but uh, I don't eat it now. Save it for Krang. No! More of these guys. I hate these guys. Okay, Krang. Show yourself. You shell heads are dead! Oh god. So I remember in the... I grabbed the pizza by accident. I grabbed the pizza by accident. Oh no. So if I remember correctly, the arcade version... He had so much damn health. Because I remember... I was hitting this guy for ages in the arcade version. And he just wouldn't die. But then again, I was playing solo. So probably be a lot easier with uh, more players. Yeah, okay. So it's not that bad. It's definitely a lot easier than the arcade version. For some reason I had a tougher time with that one. Ah! All right, he's almost done. What? Come on. Ah, damn it. Ugh, Jesus. No, no. Come on, stay still. Ah. Okay. I, oh, okay. All right. Okay. I have to be patient. Wow. Come on, hit him. There we go. Oh my god, I can't hit him. You crank. Dude. Forgot that was another reason why he was also annoying. Ugh. That holds our way home. Let's go! Oh wow, I'm approaching the the hour long mark here for Turtles in Time. Okay. Technodrome, the final shell shock. Technodrome, the final shell shock. 1992. Turtle soup, my favorite. Okay, there was a pattern to this guy. I forgot what it was. Uh. Uh. Jeez, oh, what was the pattern? What was the pattern? 
No. It's not it. Wait, that? No. Um, maybe that. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till he doesn't attack, and then try to attack him. I think. I don't remember. It's been ages. I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> Which is fine, it gives me an opportunity to switch it up to Donatello, and that would... That would, uh... Ah, damn it! Oh my god, I can't hit him. I can't hit him! But that's mostly my fault, I forgot the pattern. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. Ah. Okay. Now let's play as the final turtle, since we played as Leo, Mikey, Raph. Play as Don. Technodrome, the final shell shock. That way, each turtle got their equal amount of time to to shine with the gameplay here. Okay, uh... Ah, no. Ah. Okay. I think he when he... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no. There's a fire... The air attacks, okay. Fire. The green one. Wait, which one is the... The blue flame, right? Green. Orange or red. Blue. Ah. I think that's it. Blue. Okay. Wait to attack on blue. Got it. This is where there was an easier method, but whatever. Green. Blue. Blue again. Blue again. Green. Blue. Orange. Orange. Green. Orange. Ah! Blue. Green. Orange. Green. 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 Come on, switch to blue. Ow! There it is. Wait a minute. Orange. Ah, oh, damn it. Orange, but I could do the... No? I can't? Ah. What? Yeah, I could also do that when he does the orange attacks. Suck it, Super Shredder! Oh, Cowabunga! Technodrome, the final shell shock. Cleared! Very impressive for such young students. But the final test in your training lies ahead. Defeat! the hard mode, and you will be the true ninjas. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not doing hard mode. I don't have time for that now. <laughs> Normal's good enough for me. Game time? What? 34 minutes? Uh, 34 minutes. What? What? Okay, for the game time? What was it actually counting? Because I've been recording for over an hour now. <laughs> oh well. Anyways. 
That was a nice trip down Retro Lane with Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Or TMNT 4, Turtles in Time, sorry. The uh, Super Nintendo version. One of my favorite retro games of all time. Alright, so how do we get out of here? Quit. And I'm pretty sure I uploaded gameplay of the uh, arcade version, but I can't remember if I uploaded the whole thing or just the boss fight. I'm pretty sure maybe it was just the boss fight, but I don't remember. Alright. Well, thanks for watching this uh, birthday retro gaming video. I have a Stellar Blade outside waiting for me to unbox, and um, I don't know. I might upload some gameplay with commentary, either with or without commentary. I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet. But, um, alright. See you till then. Later.